Hi there booktube, it's Eleanor here and um, I just wanted to show you uh, my new chairs. Um, I got these off Ikea and I've wanted some sort of wing back chairs. I'm in my clashing outfit because you know we're in lockdown, nobody cares what you look like nowadays. Um, I wanted some wing back chairs uh for ages and this house really lends itself to those and uh, my lovely friend tracy has these ones or has one of these and i was just obsessed with the color and so i'm just really pleased with how this has turned out and i've got a few uh, bits to come that are going to go on the fireplace in here but it just feels like a really nice place to be um, and the dog obviously agrees because he is the neediest of dogs. I mean, he's <laughs> he whines when I leave a room. He's everywhere I go. And for the last day since these arrived, he has just brought himself into this room, laid by the chairs and slept. Um, and I've been in other rooms and he's not cared one bit. So I don't know what it is about this room and the colour of the chairs or the chairs themselves. Uh, but he's obsessed as well. So that's really lovely. Um, I was just sitting here and I was watching some YouTube videos and I was watching different people um, and I just felt inspired that I wanted to um, make a video. I want to talk to you about um, a mini TBR that I've got going on at the moment and also a to be played TBR that I have over here of uh, board games that I plan on playing via the internet. Um, we play, me and Tracy play via Skype. Uh, once a week we pick a game and we both own the game and then we play it. It's really good fun. And and yeah, so I just thought I would come in and talk about that. Um, I know in the last video I was talking about how I wasn't making sort of the same sort of videos and I'm definitely not going to be making a monthly TBR. I'm really enjoying my drag queen um, game TBRs and I'm working on one of those at the moment. Um, if you've watched my drag queen videos, you know how that goes. You pick a drag queen, you then pick a category, you pick a judge um, and you pick... What's the other thing you pick? Now I can't remember. Category, judge, oh, queen. <laughs> you pick a queen, you pick a category, you pick a judge. And then um, you also pick um, like a, a game. And then if they don't make a certain number of points your books, then you um, have to lip sync and that is another category. Um, so at the moment I am reading sweet little lies by jill shalvis finally this has been on my shelf for forever um and this is because uh this time i'm doing trixie mattel um and she is a multi-faceted queen and this prompt was to read an author who has a lot of books out well if you've read jill shalvis or you know about jill shalvis you'll know she has a lot a lot of books out and um, this is the start i believe or the first one in a new series it's not new now. I mean, it was new when I first got the book, but it's not new now. Um, the Heartbreaker Bay. And I'm really enjoying this. And I think over Christmas, in the last video, I was telling you about all these... Um all these uh, Netflix sort of films and all these romance films I've been watching. And I think I watched a Christmas film that might be based on one of her future novels in this series because it, all of the setting and the places where these people go and the pub and the area and one of the characters in here, Willa, where they talk about Willa and her pet shop and there's obviously something going on with her. Um, I think Willa is the main character in this film I watched over Christmas, which is really strange. Um, let me know if you know if any of these were made into a film because it was an odd one. I think it was on... Um, I think it was on Prime or it might have been um, one of those like passion flicks that you can get. I'm obsessed with them by the way as well. If you've never watched a passion flick, they're really good. Very steamy, but I'm really enjoying those. Um, yeah, but I'm thoroughly enjoying this. It's just a really easy um, light read. So I'm enjoying reading this. Um, so I'm doing that TBR, but also um, I watched Leanne from Literary Diversions channel. I love Leanne. She just... She makes me smile all the time. She's just a breath of fresh air and a ray of light and just lovely. And she, I don't know if I've missed, because obviously I haven't been watching videos for ages, um, that I, it sounds like she's going to be doing a different readathon for herself every month. And the January one is this sort of colour palette challenge where she picked randomly, I don't, I'm not quite sure how she picked them, um, but she picked randomly these colours let me see if I can find the sheet of paper with them on. I did have it here somewhere. Uh, yeah, so she picked randomly these colour shades. Um, and then she's picked uh, books 
to do with this so either they had they were this color the books or they um they had something about those colors or that color was named on the title or something like that there was something about that in um in the book so i have picked and decided to follow along so there's like a cherry red color um as one of them and so for that i'm going to try and read you had me at ola by alexis daria i've heard this is a good book um, I think it's a romance. Uh, I don't know much about it. I'm sure there was something to do with someone in a, like a telenovela or, um, yeah, a telenovela. And I'm sure there's going to be some sort of relationship. So, um, I can't tell you much more about this, but I will when I finish reading it. Uh, there was a dark navy blue colour and I wanted to pick up this one. It's called Ghost Fire by Wilbur Smith. I don't think I've ever read any Wilbur Smith and I think this one came up when I was looking for books that were similar to another book I'd read. I think it, I was looking for books similar to, um, oh, is it called China Zoo? Which is a bit Jurassic Parky but with dragons. And I'm sure this is what came up. Um, although I can't say I'm entirely sure that that is what this is about. It sounds like it's quite an epic um, story. It says an epic story of tragedy, loss, betrayal and courage that will bring you deep into the seething heart of the French and Indian War. Don't know, but going to give it a go and see. There was like a um, sort of grey, concrete-y colour. Um, this has been on my shelf for ages and I just sort of fancied reading it. And it's all of the above um, by, it says James Dawson, but uh, Juno Dawson and um this is about 16 year old toria um who moves to the faded seaside town of brompton on sea doesn't expect to fall in love uh once let alone twice um and it's going to be a bit of a, a ya romance as i say it's been on my shelf for quite a while so i think it's one that i really like to get to and then the next one was like a weird beige color and i don't own much beige but this one again i've had for quite a while and it's got some sort of beigey color here and it's called the school of essential ingredients by erica boermeister this is about a woman who teaches these eight people cookery one night a week on a monday night or something and and, um, but it's all about the lives of those people which I really love I really love where you get a book where you're learning about people through um, other things so you know like through a book club where they all join together or a swimming club or um, in this case food which I think is um, a great medium for getting people talking and finding out more about people so I'm really looking forward to that and then the final colour was like a yellowy mustard colour and for that I'm going to be reading uh, First Woman by Jennifer Nansubu Nansubuga Macumbi and um, again I don't know much about this this came in a book box that I got um, it's about it says one woman's discovery of what it means to become a woman in a family and community and a country determined to silence her um, it's set in Uganda which I think is interesting it's not um, a place that I've read much about um, and I think it's giving me vibes of um, and now I can't remember the name I'll put the book up but it's given me vibes of that um about uh, you know a headstrong woman who knows her own mind who um is going to push for what she wants uh, perhaps where someone who's living in a country where women's voices aren't heard um yeah so that's my sort of little mini tbr I don't know if I'll get to these. I'd like to I haven't really set myself a tbr for this month so apart from my um books for my drag race um I think those are the ones I want to get to um and then these are all the board games that I got for Christmas and uh, or one or two I bought for myself and me and Tracy love this series um of games we we really quite like the sort of escape room type games and the adventure games they really lend themselves to being able to play them um together over skype because in a lot of games if you're playing them um you have to shuffle cards up you can't shuffle your cards the same so the the game doesn't work um but cosmos which is a company that made board games make these adventure games 
and uh, we really enjoy them and they take maybe three or four sessions of us playing like an hour hour and a half at a time um, and you're going sort of a journey you're going down for different rooms you have to look into different things and um, they're just really fun and this one is the latest one that's come out it's the third one called the volcanic island um, it says a cooperative story-based game you and your team assume the role of four college students who take on an unusual research assignment on a volcanic island as you explore locations find and combine items discover clues and talk to characters a story unfolds and things get to be a bit trippy what secrets do the people and animals on this strange volcanic island hold get to the bottom of it and find out what's going on and depending on how you do in the story you get sort of a rating at the end and it's just really good fun um, you can see sort of the setup here and you sort of unfold different things and you can pick who you want to be um so i'm looking forward to that um we also played a another game by this next um one we've played um a game by the same company uh, as this and i'm looking forward to this one this is um a coded chronicles game and it's based on the shining so i think that's going to sound really good um you have to sort of Fight, try and get work your way out of um, the hotel by solving puzzles and there's envelopes to open and it's a very similar vein to um, the other games in uh, this series and I'm trying to think yeah, um, uh, there was a Scooby-Doo we played a Scooby-Doo one which was Coded Quantum and we quite enjoyed it it wasn't our favorite but we thought The Shining looked really good um, and then I picked up this one. I've never played anything in this escape room range, but escape room, the game, um, there's quite a lot now in this sort of family. Um, but Jumanji, why not? I mean, come on. So my daughter got me this for Christmas and I can't wait to play this. Um, I don't think Tracy's got this just yet. So it might be one I play at home or she might get it eventually. But this one is sort of an es um, escape room in a more literal sense. So I think you get like a 60 minutes and that's it. Um, I think there might be uh, different difficulties you can play. Oh, there's two adventures and one introduction game. So it's like a 60 minutes. So you've got three lots of 60 minutes to play on that one. Um, and, and that one, you you can't, most of these you can't really play again because the sort of element of it is this sort of excitement. Um, I am obsessed with unlock games. I love their games. They're like a card um, escape room game. They're really good fun. They're doable, which makes you feel like you're achieving something. Um, so I picked up their latest one at Christmas called Unlock Mythic Adventures. Um, you get three games in the box and I really enjoy them. This one's got the Clutches of Hades, Professor, No Sides, Animal, Omatic. And he's in a lot of their different ones. And Around the World in 80 um, Minutes. And they're just really good fun. They normally take about an hour um, and they really get your brain going. But as I say, you feel like you can actually win them, so it's achievable. I'm noticing my battery's going, so I'm just going to talk about this last one. This is one that I know Tracy's played a couple of times uh, with her family, and I know a lot of people have played this, and I've seen it around a lot, but I've never really sort of got taken the plunge, uh, but I decided to for Christmas. Um, so this is Disney Villainous, and I've got the sort of original set, so it's got Jafar, Maleficent, Hook, Ursula, Prince John and Queen of Hearts in and I know that Tracy's got an expansion pack and she says it's something that you can play um, over Skype um, so I'm looking forward to trying that together and um, learning how to play this because so many people really enjoy it um, and oh my god I'm just I just want to get out of lockdown I want to beat this bloody coronavirus okay so it's now the next day my cat <laughs> my camera battery died I had to charge it up um, so I'm not quite sure where I was, I think I was telling you about Villainous and how I was excited to give it a go and uh, to see if um, I can play it. I've heard some things about it being quite complicated. Tracy said that it can be a bit complicated, so it might be one that I need to sort of practice a little bit. Um, but I'm really excited about all these games and giving them a go. And uh, yeah, so just checking in really to let you know uh, my little mini TBR and some board games that I'm looking forward to playing. And I'll let you know how I get on with them all. Uh, when I've played them and, and which ones I think are worth it um, because a lot of these ones you can only play once so it's got to be worth the money to um, you know fork out that amount of money to then only be able to play the game once through because an escape room game is sort of spoiled after you've done it the first time <clears throat> so I will catch up with you soon bye for now